Well, tonight, this video shows a Columbus City School student getting into a fight with another student holding a knife. One student was injured and the other was arrested. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Good to see you. The incident comes months after the district spent $3 million to install a new weapons detection system. But as 10 investigates previously reported, that system has limitations and has failed to detect certain weapons during testing. Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Bennett Haberlin. Andrew, the district says it will step up random screenings of students following this incident. There are still a lot of questions, though, no, about that knife, but it certainly comes at a time when the district has invested millions in this new weapons detection system that has been shown to have limitations. This video, shared on Twitter by the local Fraternal Order of Police, reportedly shows a stabbing last week at Mifflin High School. Columbus City Schools would not comment on the video the FOP posted or the contents it captured. While it remains under investigation, Brian Steele with the local FOP Lodge Number no. 9 says the video was shared with him by someone inside the school. I struggled when I watched that video. I struggled to post that video. It was sickening to watch a student almost killing another student with a knife. He says it illustrates a need for the return of school resource officers in the state's largest district. No their contract wasn't renewed during the summer of 2020 when social justice protests and discussions about police reform were a prominent part of the national conversation. He got a knife. He got a big one. What is not clear is how the knife got into the school and if the district's new weapons detection system was operating properly or failed to detect it. Ten investigates previously reported on the Evolve Express system and how it failed to detect certain weapons during a field test conducted back in 2021 at the Columbus Crew's Lower.com field. The crew and other pro sports teams now use the devices to screen fans. The results of that testing were very positive as we earned a score of 2.84 on a scale of 0 to 3. Evolve did share a public-facing report about that testing, but it did not share this full report the tech firm IPVM obtained that showed photos of the items tested. While the Evolve system did find most handguns, it failed to detect a micro-compact handgun on two occasions. Metal pipes also had mixed results. And while some knives alerted 100% of the time, others were not detected. The overall detection rate for knives was 58%. CCS tells 10 investigates that full report was not shared with the district prior to purchasing the Evolve system. You got a, knife. a New York school district has since stopped using Evolve after a knife attack last fall. And back in February, when the district announced the installation, we asked the company's co-founder about the conversations it has with its clients. So you're telling them that those things might be missed. We have a very detailed conversations about what the system can do and what its limitations are. We share reports with them, such as the NCS4 report, and we talk through the results there. Everything is not 100% in that report. And we talk through what the results are, and they have other ways they might want to mitigate some of those things. Now, we wanted to know more. Since the Evolve system was installed, how many weapons have been confiscated? In the first month of its installation, the district says they confiscated both a knife and a pair of nunchucks. We reached out to Evolve today to ask about this recent incident. A spokeswoman for that company would not provide specifics about what happened, but she did give us the following statement, quote, we share the concern for the student that was injured and are working closely with Mifflin High School to help and support our customer. We cannot comment further on as this is an ongoing investigation. Andrew. All right, Penny, thanks so much.